In this video, we will show you how to passage adherent and suspension cells. We will begin with a list of materials, then provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to passage each cell type. You will require the following materials. Growth media, trypsin, phosphate buffered saline, T25 flasks, 15 milliliter conical tubes, a pipette aid, one, five, and 10 milliliter sterile serological pipettes, 1.5 milliliter centrifuge tubes, tripan blue, and a waste beaker or vacuum line with sterile pasture pipettes. Feel free to pause the video and take note of these step-by-step -step instructions for suspension cell passaging, but we will discuss these steps as we demonstrate the technique. Begin by checking the confluency of your cells under an inverted microscope. For suspension cells, they should look something like this when they are ready to be passaged. Next, using a 5 milliliter serological pipette, take up the cells and wash the wall of the flask where they were growing. Transfer the cell suspension from the culture vessel into a 15 milliliter conical tube. Take a small sample of the cells and place it in a 1.5 milliliter centrifuge tube to be used for a count with a hemocytometer or automated counter. Centrifuge the cells to pellet them. Then decant the liquid or remove with a vacuum line. Using fresh media, resuspend the cells to obtain the optimal seating density, 2.5 times 10 to the fifth live cells per milliliter. Add about 3.5 milliliters of the new cell suspension to each of your T25 flasks, rocking them to ensure that the surface is completely covered. Place your cells in the incubator. Feel free to pause the video and take note of these step-by-step -step instructions for adherent cell passaging but we will discuss these steps as we demonstrate the technique. Begin by checking the confluency of your cells under an inverted microscope. For adherent cells, they should look something like this when they are ready to be passaged. Remove the media from your cells and dispose of it in the waste beaker. Then, take about 2 milliliters of sterile PBS and wash the cells. Rock the flask back and forth to ensure a thorough wash. Dispose of the PBS in the waste container, then wash again. These steps are necessary to prevent the inactivation of trypsin by residual FBS from the media. Add about 1.5 to 2 milliliters of trypsin to the cells rocking back and forth to cover all of them. Take the flask to an inverted microscope and watch them. Once they start to appear round, remove most of the trypsin. Check the cells under the microscope again to ensure that they were not removed along with the trypsin. Tap the flask against a hard surface to dislodge the cells. Take about 3 to 3.5 milliliters of fresh media. Wash the cells down from the surface they were adhered to. Transfer them to a 15 milliliter conical tube and take a portion for cell counting. Centrifuge the cells to pellet them. Decant the media or remove with a vacuum line. 
Using fresh media, resuspend the cells to obtain the optimal seeding density, 2.5 times 10 to the fifth live cells per milliliter. Add 3.5 milliliters of the cell suspension to your T25 flasks. Rock them to ensure that the suspension covers the surface. Place your cells in the incubator.